Hi everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the future of the Amazon Kindle in 2022. But before we do that, let's take a look at the current lineup of Amazon Kindles. In late 2021, Amazon released the 11th generation Kindle Paperwhite, which easily became one of my favorite tech products last year. It was a fantastic product with an increase in screen size from 6 inches to 6.8 inches, which provided more ample screen real estate for readers, and it also had features such as the inclusion of more LED lights than any other Kindle. And that is partly because of the warm light system that the Kindle Oasis had before it. For the first time ever, we even got a more premium version called the Signature Edition, which brought more storage, an ambient light sensor, and wireless charging. Now, I've done a full review of this 2021 Kindle Paperwhite, so be sure to click on the link on this video or in the description to check that out. Do I think Amazon will release a 2020 Kindle Paperwhite? Personally, I don't think so, because usually Amazon announces a big update to their Kindle, and they usually wait a couple years before they announce a new generation Kindle. So we already had the new Kindle Paperwhite that came out in November of 2021, so I'm not anticipating a new Kindle Paperwhite till 2023 or maybe even 2024. Now let's look at the Kindle Basic, which came out in 2019. It's ideal for someone who's never owned an e-reader before. The pixel per inch is only 167 and it also has a 6 inch e-ink display so the text does not look as crisp as it does on the Paperwhite and the Oasis. However, one of the big selling points at the time of its release was the front lid display. However, keep in mind it only has 4 LED lights so the screen isn't as bright as the Paperwhite or the Oasis. Now, midway through the life cycle of the basic Kindle, Amazon quietly increased the storage from 4 to 8 gigabytes, which was a welcome change. I believe Amazon will refresh this model sometime in 2022. Likely, they'll probably introduce a small amount of amber LED lights for a color temperature system, but I doubt they'll increase the resolution of the display nor make it waterproof. I think the basic goal for this Kindle is to just make it affordable and be an entry-level model. Now let's take a look at the Kindle Oasis. The third generation Oasis came out in 2019. This used to be considered their large screen flagship e-reader. It has a 7 inch e-ink carta HD capacitive touchscreen display with a resolution of 1680 by 1264 and 300 pixels per inch. The screen is made of glass and the body is made of high grade aluminum. It has physical page turn buttons and an ambient light sensor to automatically adjust the front lid display and color temperature system. However, now it's in this weird spot because the latest Paperwhite has features that the Oasis, a flagship model, does not yet have. So I believe that if Amazon decides to release the Oasis 4 this year, which I strongly believe they will, then it will definitely have USB-C just like the Paperwhite. It allows for faster charging as well and Amazon seems to believe in this format for new Kindles going forward. So I also expect the basic Kindle to have USB-C. For the Oasis 4, Amazon might also include the same e-ink Carta 1200 display technology that the new Paperwhites are employing, and this dramatically increases performance by 50% and page turn speed by 20%. They should also include a better version of Bluetooth so more headphones are compatible with it, more storage is needed since comics, manga, and audiobooks take up lots of room, so I suggest a 32GB model as the base model. A larger screen would also be helpful. I do believe that Amazon will increase the screen size for, from 7 inches to 7.8 inches, which will be ideal to view comics and documents. Now, a question that I often receive is if I think Amazon will release a Kindle in color. And unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. And here's why. The technology for color e-ink is there and there have been many companies working on it, but Amazon doesn't really seem to be in a hurry to sell one, as they sell Fire tablets for that sort of a thing. Color e-paper right now is also not in the best place. You see, colors still look too washed out, and a company like Amazon, which is the king of e-readers in the market, would rather wait till the technology is perfected if they were to ever bring color to their e-readers. Also, one thing I do expect Amazon to release is a digital note-taking device. Perhaps that's what they might do with the Kindle Oasis by giving it an even larger screen than it currently has. You see, e-notes are big business right now. Everyone's getting involved in this space. You would be hard-pressed not to see a remarkable two advertisement or tons of people on YouTube raving about their Kobo's note-taking functionality. 
Right now, there is no rumor indicating that Amazon is working on such a device, but I think it'd be quite foolish for the company not to. So right now, I have my fingers crossed that Amazon is working on releasing such a product. So to wrap everything up, I believe this will be the year for the entry-level Kindle and the Oasis in 2022. Later this year, maybe in 2023, they will likely release an eNote in one or possibly multiple different screen sizes. They will likely take this time to figure out how they can change the home screen to put more of an emphasis on content such as comics, manga, magazines, and newspapers. Right now, their current home screen on Kindles just advertises books, so they would have to get ready for this new interface, and that takes time. They would also have to develop new accessories such as first-party cases and styluses, and also premium versions. But the question is, what would you like to see Amazon release this year? What kind of upgrades do you want Kindles to receive in general? Comment below and let me know. Until then, I'll see you next time.